All right, 604, new on Daybreak, it's a sentimental piece of property that was heavily vandalized and it's leaving an Amarillo man with questions. ABC 7's Lamaya Harvell has more on why he says he's not letting criminals stop his mission. Lamaya. Yes, Lisa, and as you can see here, this truck, you, many people see this truck driving around the panhandle, and as you can see, it's customized to look like puzzle pieces. Now, this is not only to bring attention to the design, but to bring attention to autism. Tristan Riddling tells me he woke up one morning and found this truck riddled in graffiti. Riddling says growing up, he noticed the many people who were unaware of the autism spectrum and with his history and his family with dealing with his brother who is severely autistic, he made it his duty to help. Now, people are from across the country, pay to place their signature on the truck and funds go towards charities around the world. Now, Riddling says he's upset about the tagging because the names written on the truck are sacred. For my supporters, I really appreciate y'all, you know. I know there's a lot of people that have my back, which is great. That's beautiful because I've always got theirs. You know, even the people that hate me, I've still always got their back. As far as everybody that lives around me, they've, they've been a huge help. They've been checking their cameras, everything like that. Um, you know, all the people on Facebook that's been sharing the whole situation, I really appreciate them. Ling tells me he was um, able to get some of the tagging off, but unfortunately, a lot of the graffiti was placed on top of several names. So as you can see here, a lot of the puzzle pieces are empty because most of the names had to be removed as well. But he says he's going to continue to bring the mission or bring the awareness of autism and his mission doesn't stop because someone wanted to do such a, you know, some type of crime like this. But we'll have more information later on in the morning. Lisa, back to you. Well, I have